Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Against the Storm. As we continue our run here in a brand new little town. Um, still only day two, so we're still early on in this town. Let me see. I got to get caught back up on where I left off. Uh, we need to get a little bit of coal. We already got the packs of building materials. We need to get some drizzle water. And all of that should be well good enough and whatever. I think I was saving this to see what we might need from other orders, so we'll go ahead and hold off on that. Let's go ahead and pause. We got a few things to build up here. We do have uh, some drizzle, a drizzle water geyser here, actually. Uh, geyser pump. That would be a great way to get some drizzle water. All right, we'll go ahead and plop that down. I don't have a road connected to it at the moment. Um, I'll just pop that down here. and We'll just get us a path out to that. Oh, there's rocks there. Um... I'll just go I'll just go around the rocks here it's a little bit of a weird path we might change it later uh we have opened up a few small glades i remember that so we'll get a couple of those things brought back at the moment uh we don't we only have one builder at the moment that's okay we don't have a lot of stuff available to build just yet we are working on some flour over here okay good stuff with that i believe we want to work on pies again but i don't think we don't have the thing for pies yet do we I don't think we did yet. So hopefully we'll get that here in a bit. Really, we need to get some uh, more planks coming in. Which I believe is coming from... Any, mini money mo. Where is it coming from? It's a house. There's our market guy. Where's our planks coming from? Do I not have a plank production yet? Surely I do. This woodcutter's camp does not have any suitable trees nearby, so let's go ahead and move you. We'll move you out this way. Maybe you can cut into this small glade behind us. We're supposed to put you... Probably right there is fine. Extend that path out a little bit. And we'll just tell you to cut into this small glade here. Alright, we do have a new cornerstone. Roots just... Just roots coming in, huh? Um, or more packs of goods from the packs. That's just pretty good as well. Uh, or herb garden stuff. Do we have the, which, which garden do we have? We do have the herb garden. So honestly, the herb garden would be a really good one. More food is always good. Uh, get some new people coming in. Roots and eggs. Or do we want some clay, reeds, and pottery? Both have three people. Um, looking at how many people we have. This would just need one more harpy house, and we would need some more human houses, though. I don't think it really matters either way, to be honest. We'll just grab this one. It's fine. Uh, we do need to get some more houses. We'll get another harpy house kind of set up somewhere. Doesn't really matter. Just off to the side. And then we'll get... Um, actually, we need two more harpy houses. And then we will get um, a human house somewhere. I'll find a good place to kind of... I'll get away so it's out of the way. Since it doesn't need to be near the road. I right, still haven't built this garden because we're still waiting on planks. Do we not have crude workstation? Okay, we got the lumber mill. We haven't we just finished lumber, but that's what we we're waiting for. I remember now. And we do need to get the planks rolling. Do we want to get packs of trade goods right now? I don't think so, although we do have a lot of flour, but no. We're gonna hold off the plaques of the trade goods at the moment. Uh, we'll hold off on that. We're just going to focus on the planks themselves and try to get those popped out as quickly as possible. We've got lots of buildings that need planks. Including a mine. Uh, Trapper's Camp has nothing nearby. And I don't see anything else at the moment. So we'll go ahead and just deactivate you. That's going to be fine. Got a lot of people available, but we got a lot of buildings we're about to build up, so I don't really want to put them in anything yet until we get some of these other ones filled up. Alright, new, new trader. We got a few amber available. We got a bunch of food here. Um, a ranch would be interesting. Biscuit recipes. Oh, we can just make biscuits, huh? Which is not bad, but again, biscuits are not used by everybody, right? Let me, uh... 
Biscuits are, yeah, the, the lizards don't like the biscuits. The pies would just be the absolute best, just to make pies for everybody. We might just grab a bunch of just different foods at the moment. Honestly, starting with pies, maybe. It's not the cheapest here, but it definitely gets us some food. Uh, so let's just go ahead and grab all of that, and we'll go ahead and pop the pack of provision over there. Anything else we want to plop over? Not really. We kind of need everything else. So we'll just grab whatever we can here. Not a bunch, but it's a start. We do have some new orders, though. Maybe I should check these first. Uh, what do we got here? We got need for clothing filled. Okay, we don't really have a way to get that. Cut through the two two glades. Deliver two ancient tablets. We can take this one. This does give us tools. I don't have a guarantee that we're going to get ancient tablets, but maybe we will. Have at least 15 aesthetic decorations. I mean, this one we could do, right? We can get some aesthetic decorations plopped around. I think we'll grab that one. Really, we just need to get some more planks so we can get some more of these buildings set up. I mean, they're coming. <laughs> they're just coming slowly. Got a little bit behind on the planks, I think, is the big problem. Um, You're waiting on... You don't have anything to do right now. Okay. Well... Just chill. I mean, it's not like we have anywhere else for you to go right now, anyway. You'll have to keep an eye on that. What are we waiting on planks for? Like, we have planks coming in. Where are the planks being delivered to? <laughs> Nowhere, apparently. Let's go play. We almost need another lumber mill just to get more planks coming in. I never build two of these, though. All right, we're finally getting the garden down here. That'll get us the next level on the ancient hearth. We are actually starting to make our harpies a little bit happy, so we'll get a little bit of a trickle of resolve from that. Not right, resolve, sorry, uh, reputation. Always get those confused. Resolve is what gives us the reputation. There we go. We got another glade popped open. There's our geyser pump. We can go ahead and pop a couple of people in here and start getting the drizzle water for our water delivery here. Um, we do have some vegetables over here. Or some... Whatever that is, the stormwater geyser. And then we have... I don't, oh, I didn't want to destroy it. I want to click it. Um, we don't have any tools. I would love to get the tool side of this, though. So we might just wait to see if we get some tools coming up at some point. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and have you clear out some more trees around here. This uh, lumber camp over here is going to have to move here in just a moment. Probably just move it over here and get some more of these small glades popped open. Uh, building some aesthetics, yes, I would like to do that. Oh, here's the mine, finally. Um, we don't really have enough to put everybody into here. So we'll just put... I guess we'll put three people in there, start getting some coal coming in. That'll get us the uh, important delivery up there, which is good. Woodcutter's camp needs to be moved again. We'll move it over here. Get a path to there. And then we'll just we'll just clear into these blades over here. I think that's gonna be fine. What are you? Crude workstation is missing stuff for fabric. All the things. Okay. Well, again, kind of just chill, because I don't know that we need to, uh, we don't need you for anything else right this second. We do have a couple trade routes, apparently. Uh, we do have some packs of provisions available, so I don't really want to do the planks. I don't really want to do the meat, either. But it does give us some amber, which can help us later. So maybe I send one pack of meat. Might not be a great idea, but... Amber can always be used for more food down the road. Probably more food than the 15 we just gave away as well. What are you waiting on? Oh, it's already full. Oh, how do we get... 
How do we get 50 drizzle water? How do we store water? Does this thing store water? Oh, it does have a tank capacity of 50. Okay, I guess we just also need the rain collector. Okay, interesting. I did not realize that that increased our capacity. All right, I think everybody's got houses at the moment. It's a little hard to see the trees that we've got highlighted on this particular map. These are just very colorful. All right, there's a coal delivery. It is going to get us some tools, which we can use to get that next thing. And some rain. Actually, we could have taken the raincoat thing. Um, all right, so we want to come over here and... I kind of want to get rid of some people from somewhere. Let's just deactivate this for a bit. And we'll have you guys come over here. And we'll do the uh, tool side of this. Oh, we've got a new color stone. Uh, far sight. Um... Having small glade increase the work speed of scouts investigating dangerous forbidden glades by 50% for 180 seconds. Okay, that could be useful. Uh, have five mini hardships bringing them close together. Plus 10% uh, villager speed plus one global resolve. That's always nice. Use all, lose all stored fuel upon picking this cornerstone, but we do get plus one food production. Um, we'll go for we'll go for this one. And for a second, let me headphones just cut off. Let me. Swap out my battery while we're mid mid recording here. Gotta, gotta be able to hear the, the music, the, the ominous music. It is. All right. Uh. Okay. That all looks good. Again, once we get this thing built, hopefully we can get the seventy drizzle water. Uh. We do need to start putting down the aesthetic things. Um. And we still have we have two reputation bonus things now, and I don't really know what I want to grab. Oh, this one gets us tool production. It's not great tool production, but at least is tool production. We'll go grab that. I just really was hoping for a way to make pies. It seems like that is just not going to be a thing we get. Make coats. Uh, coats could be useful for making our people happier. This can also make coats, but also tea. I don't know. Let's just grab, let's grab that one. I've never, I don't really usually do the coats that often. I have a lot of people. We actually need some few more people, though. We're going to be running out of food soonish. We do have some other ways to get some food here and there. All right. So does that increase? That does increase our supply. So I don't really need to work this. I just needed to increase the supply, and so I'm happy with that. All right, there's some more people, and like I said, we kind of need them. We'll take the one with the most people, plus the gears. The gears are always good. Um, let's go ahead and get some more food stuff put down. We need to get us a small forager's camp. Yeah, that would get us the uh, broccoli over here, or whatever it's called, just vegetables. And harvester's camp would get us reeds. There's lots of reeds floating about. I might start with these over here just because they're close. And then we can move that thing around as needed. So the reeds gets us... No, it doesn't get us this. It gets us the fabric, I think, right? We have another geyser over there. I don't know that I desperately need that. I do want to fill you up, though. So let's grab you... And I do want to grab another human from somewhere. Probably the mine, it looks like. And then we can put... I mean, do we need more than the two people in the mine? I don't know that we do. It's it's a limited resource, so... I mean, I don't know that it matters if we have a ton of people in there right now. Getting the bro or the vegetables in here is going to be good, though. Uh, we do want to get some reeds coming in. So we'll just put a couple harpies in here. All right, okay, that gets us to drizzle water, which gets us some coal, some copper bars. Another reputation point. All right, the only other thing we got control over is the aesthetics. Uh, yeah, the small farm would be nice for grain. 
we could technically put it over here. It's not like an amazing plot because it's only got three things, but it would just be a start. A little bit of extra. I don't know if that's worth it. I think we need a bigger plot before we can worry about that. Um, so I think what we're going to do is how many, do we have anybody in these housing? We do have two people in these houses. Tempted to just put down some basic houses, but I guess we've got this, the materials for these other houses. So no reason not to. I do want to get, okay. So what was I going to cite here? I mean, getting the small farm would be a good idea at some point. I don't know that we desperately need it right now, unless we had a better plot of grass than, than that little bit of fertile soil there. I didn't just use up some of my... I don't think so. I think I just bumped that up against it. I hope I didn't. Low on food. Of course we are. Of course we're low on food. Lots of people out there getting food, but it's never enough. These guys use food like crazy. All right, so we need some aesthetic. Which will be the blue ones? Yes. Uh, we need 15. Doesn't really matter where I stick these, I guess. Let's put a bunch of lamps down. For no reason. I mean, I guess they do have to build these individually, but... Oh, that's a few more. Let's get those, and then we'll put probably some bigger ones down. Uh, what else do we have? We have a uh, herb note up here that can also get us berries. So probably getting the herbalist camp so we can get those would be another good idea. Um, based on where I put those houses, I suddenly don't have a good place to put you. A little bit of fertile soil there as well. Actually, can you? Oh, it's just, I mean, we could technically put a field there. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, but it would technically fit. Um, we might have to do this roadless back here, just so we can get some of the, uh, stuff back this way. Oh, that's a little lights get built real quick in a hurry. So we need five more, so let's just grab us maybe a big one. Another big garden, probably. And then another tiny one. I don't know. The anvil, just for reasons. Alright, so that got built pretty quickly. Uh, looks like we can use the harpies for that. Another, oh, there's a better better farm field. Okay, so we definitely want to grab the uh, small farm then. Because that's a much better spot to put it. Uh, there's our aesthetics. Does get us better berry production, or whatever that helps. Still haven't found a way to get ancient tablets yet. That's probably going to come from the the uh, other glades, right? Which we might want to start working towards. Uh, this gets us some flour. I mean, I would love to get the tools side of this. Um, let's build the thing that gets us the tools, which is the scribe. Yes, the scribe. It's not great, but it's a start. And then I guess we're going to start cutting into... This kind of door towards this glade up here. <laughs> Left a tree out. A little tiny tree. Um, we'll go that direction. Well, there's lots of small glades we can get to. We probably go to that big glade up there as well. New trader arrived. We got lots of amber now. Okay, we can get some tools, obviously. Uh, in fact, I don't know that we need much of anything else here except the tools. Everything else we can kind of get along the way. Do we want any of this stuff? Buildings constructed faster. I do like the wood. Production. So I think we grab you. I mean, this could be useful, but I want to get the tools first. So let's uh, let's see how much would we actually. We probably can't get all the tools, right? Sixty-nine. Yeah, there's no way. So let's uh, let's get as many as we can get. Um, something like that. Thirty-five. Gets us fifteen. I mean, this one's nice. It's not critical, though. It just makes things a little bit faster. So I think we're okay with this. Gets us 15 tools. Do I want to try and put a few more things in here? I think this is okay. Can 
I guess I could have put the crystallized do in there because that's all this is really going to be used for is making tools anyway, right? It's true. So what if I just plump all that over there and say, get me some more tools? That actually gets me plenty of tools and I can actually get the amber. Okay, I should have done this differently because that'll get me enough amber for this thing. We'll just grab that. Okay, I'm happy with that, how that worked out. Because the crystallized dude, like I said, that's, we weren't going to use it for much of anything else anyway. Uh, deliver ale, tavern, dangerous glade events complete. Okay, I think we can do this side. We'll start doing some dangerous glades here now. More tablets. Four packs of luxury goods. In 15 reach every time you discover a new glade. That's pretty cool. Um, we just don't have ancient tablets, though, is the problem. I might hold off on this one. If we can start finding ancient tablets, I might do something with that. Um, speaking of finding ancient tablets, we are going to move you um, up this way. And we're going to have you start cutting into this glade up here. Time to start getting to some dangerous glades, I think. I guess just to say we'll put a path through there. Oh, we have enough tools for this, though. So we'll send this on this side. We'll investigate that. Get that rolling. All right, we're still a little bit light on fo uh, food, but we're, we're getting more. Slowly but surely. Still can't get the complex foods, though, which is the problem. All right, resolve is low, which is not great. Um... Could start getting some people some better houses. That'll help to resolve a little bit. Like how many lizard houses do we actually have? Can we see that? Lizard houses are... Which one? There we go. Um, I wish we could see how many lizard houses we actually have. I guess we could see it this way. How many lizards are in this house? There are four total lizards here, so if we get two more lizard houses plopped down, then that will help make the lizards happy, and then we can figure out the harpies here in a minute as well. Alright, the harpies are getting unhappy. Probably need to go ahead and build the harpy houses as well. How many harpies... Okay, we can see down here how many we have. Uh, any harpies in here? There's actually one harpy in there, so... I guess we'll plop a harpy house down somewhere. Hopefully the houses make them happy enough. Probably gonna lose a harpy here in a moment. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, let's just bring you back over here. We just kind of closed off their ability to have a road back here, but do that and I guess we can do a path down the back here a little bit weird but we'll make it work all right there's the other lizard house okay we made it through that nobody left I still think it's okay to build the other houses though I uh, would have a new cornerstone mushroom production increase we don't really have mushroom production right because our things are producing um not that yeah, roots and herbs and then we have the other guard the other thingy so yeah, that's not really helpful. Uh, silent looting. Scouts have learned how to be cautious when lo uh, looting abandoned caches. Every time you open or send an abandoned cache to the uh, Citadel, that one could be useful. An odd talisman made from the talons of a phoenix gain two wildfire essence for every two completed dangers for free. Yeah, that one's could be useful too. I like the silent looting though. That'll help reduce some stuff as we can finish some of these other things. All right. We don't have you populated with anybody. We don't have a lot of people to be fair. Uh, we can make, we got wood. Might even use the planks, and we do have that, and we can probably get some crystallized dew. Um, start making tools. Do we care about the ale? I don't think we care about the ale right now. I don't think we care about the scrolls right now. Oh, sorry, one button. Um, we'll put a couple humans in here and try to get a few tools coming in. Although we do have a little bit of a stockpile of tools right now. Food, of course, is always low. Sounds pretty normal for my games, for whatever reason. Again, we have another farm over here. And I do want to go ahead and put one down. 
Um, I guess it's going to have to be kind of on this side of things. I think we can get a road through there. Not quite. All right, never mind. We get that tree right there done. We can get a road through there. We'll keep an eye on it. All right, we got more people. I mean, I know it's going to take up more food, but we have more things to do. Kind of like this side because it's going to bring in a few mushrooms. Yeah, that one brings eggs. Let's go ahead and grab that side. I think that's fine. Yes, I know we're low on food, but we're getting more food, trying to get it more coming in. Doing our best. Um, we have stone right here. I never have really picked up. Got plenty of houses for everybody. Not not good houses, but houses. Um, should we just go ahead and grab the where is it? Stone cutters camp just to get this stone coming in. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a little bit of stone picked up. We'll get this populated with humans here in a moment. You guys are already working good stuff. I guess we could always move the geyser pump people over to here just to get some of all the waters. That's probably a good idea. Probably a better idea. Just to get some of the other waters as time goes by. All right, stone. I uh, don't have anybody that's specialized. Just grab whatever you can. Oh, new fields. Okay, this is actually... Oh man. Um Okay. If we moved you over this way, would you be able to get all of that? Part of me says I mean can I wish I wish I could chop that tree down right there, but Alright, so we're gonna have to go and put a little cut into this episode. I actually made this episode very, very long, so I'm gonna cut it in half here. Um but I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.